Hi, I'm Rebecca. I love to create art and to inspire others to do the same. And uh, I have been enjoying expressing myself through art for my whole life from the time that I was very small until now. And I it really am inspired to see my children creating every day and expressing themselves that way, working through moods and emotions. I really see art as something that's not just a unnecessary add-on to life or a luxury, but a way that some of us really feel that we need to communicate our ideas. And I want to really share that with others and to give them the tools to do that as well. Through my company, Radiant Art, I have traveled to many different schools as their artist in residence, and I love that job. Um, I have a great passion for working with children all the way from preschool to middle school age and I just am inspired constantly by their surprising ideas, their innovative ways of doing things and just that they take so much joy and pleasure in creating art. They're full of energy and that helps me to have energy for my job and I hope pass that on to the teachers so that they can see how much fun we can really have for doing these kinds of projects. The other joy that I have in this is to help make learning through the use of arts really connected to academic subjects. So in this way we can really expose students to a variety of styles and genres and mediums and help them understand and learn some history of art masters, but to really tie this in with what they're already learning and it just becomes a natural flow between those two things. With the increase of STEAM programming in schools, so if that's not something that's familiar to you, it's uh, science, technology, engineering, art, and math, um, as well as my background in science, I really enjoy making the connection between science and the arts because as I often say to kids, we're looking at um, the world around us with the eyes of both a scientist and an artist and we're seeing details in the world as we observe and then we're just communicating that in different ways through science and art but really we start off looking at it in the same, through the same eyes. It's very likely that you have had or will have students that have unique learning needs or motor needs in your classroom. It's very important to me that the process of creating art is just as important as the final product, really more important, and that the process is documented and um, students get to see that all the way along they've been creating something and even if their final product doesn't look anything like mine, um, that's okay because what they've learned as they go along is how to use different tools, how to um, do different techniques, and um, they can apply that to, to other projects in the future. So it goes a long way for the enjoyment and the success of uh, every student. In the classroom. Really most of all my desire is that students and teachers and educators and just if you're using these at home just go away with greater confidence in your artistic abilities because you do have them and I'm just trying to help you give you some more tools in your tool belt um, and just make art more approachable possible and something that you feel then that you can go and share with others too. So to help with this, I will be posting some how-to tutorials. Um, I believe my daughter will be making a few as well. Um, this is going to show you a variety of different art projects and how we can make those curricular connections with things that your students are learning, if you are a teacher or an educator, and um, just maybe what grade level might be appropriate for these to consider for the project. So above all, please have fun, enjoy creating and sharing these ideas. And since I'm not big on making videos of me, I'm just gonna let my hands do the talking from now on. Cheers.